Hey, Pretty Gang, it is Jen, your exclusive starter business coach, and I want to come in and talk to you guys about some exclusive, right, business ideas that are kept secret or that are unique. Let's jump into this. First of all, this video is brought to you by my brand new business course, The Feminine Money. Yes, I want to show you how to start your business, set it up to be seen, and to make profit. Make sure you're visiting thefeminineMoney.com, and I have it in the description below. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first idea that is unique or kept secret is a cuddler. Now, a cuddler can make up to $50 to $100 an hour. There are a couple of directories online where you can actually go through the site where you can be vetted and so can the clients be vetted as well. So things will be asked for like ID, location, background checks, things like that, just for your safety and for the safety of the client as well. There are a lot of flexible hours and the directories do exist here online. Just so you are aware, this is non-sexual, okay? This is specifically for people who are looking for cuddling and intimacy who want to pay for that without it being anything else involved. Also, I just want you guys to stay safe if you are going to choose to uh, be a cuddler because, of course, again, this is non-sexual, but you want to make sure that you're being safe. You're choosing well-vetted directories that are vetted, that are um, vetting their clients, they're looking into their clients, and they're also looking into you as well um, as much as they are having all the requirements for you, you would want the same requirements that they should be having for the clients that you're going to be servicing. The next business is a pet bakery. Now, you guys know pets have always existed. Pets are a whole thing. People have Instagram pages direct that are dedicated directly to their pets and people are buying their pets gourmet um, cookies, treats, and you can get in on it. If you are somebody that bakes, you're somebody that cooks and you know how to make um, small treats, as, um, especially if you have something that's vegan, something that's gluten-free, you can get in on creating a pet bakery. You can use places like Instagram to sell your stuff. You can use places like Etsy. Um, you definitely want to take advantage of um, the shapes, the decorations, and some of the holidays because holidays would be a great time to make different types of, of snacks, different types of treats so that you can sell to uh, pet owners and people buy snacks anywhere from 15 to $30 depending on how they taste, depending on if their dog likes them, and depending on if your store or your online shop is something that people will be talking about. So you definitely can market it, you definitely can advertise it, and um, it'll be in your best interest if you are going to do a pet bakery to get some type of theme going so that people can recognize your pet bakery and it can differentiate from other people's. The next thing, for those of us who walk, watch things like Flip That House, we watch things like HGTV, um, and you know about these real estate shows with a lot of people, um, what we see in front of our eyes that they do is that they stage houses in order for them to sell houses. And if you're good at interior designing, if you're good at just organizing, making a, a space look much more appealing to a buyer, especially if we're talking about real estate, we're talking about housing. Um, this can staging can even be good for photography if you know how to stage well. There are people that will hire you on, like real estate agents, photographers that will hire you on so that you can stage a background to either sell a home or to do pictures. So if this is something that you're interested in, you definitely want to look into staging. You definitely want to um, reach out to some photographers, reach out to some real estate agents, let them know that you do staging, let them know that you may have props, you may have products that they can use, and um, they might either call you to stage yourself or some places want whatever you may have, right? So if you have certain products, you have certain chairs, you have certain tables, you have certain backgrounds or backdrops, they might not want your services as you come in stage, but they might be willing to rent and or borrow something from you for a fee. So staging is something that you definitely want to look into. And the last but not least, you guys, that is um, something to look into is casket selling. Um, the average wooden casket honestly costs somewhere between twelve and fifteen hundred dollars, um, and you can sell caskets to others. Um, as long as you are linked into some type of program and the programs are usually you're going to go through some type of agency that sells the casket so you'd purchase it from them and then you would go out and you would sell them and this is why I also have listed here that you would have to have some type of networking skills because then you would have to go and find 
um, places such as like funeral homes, such as churches that will be needing caskets and people are going to always need caskets. And if you can buy them for $1,200, $1,500, even if you charge $2,000 for one casket, you just made what you you made what you spent as well as a five hundred dollars on top of it now if we're talking about some of the more higher end caskets then again you can still make your money and more you make what you sell and more but you definitely want to get into a program that would allow you to buy the caskets from them for a fraction or low cost and then you would sell it to your network depending you know like i said funeral homes, um, communicating or networking with funeral directors, churches, so that they know to come to you if they are in need of a casket. So that is something you definitely want to look into. Again, these are some best kept, right? Business ideas, some unique business ideas. Again, this was brought to you by my thefeminemoney.com. Definitely check it out. Sign up for the course and I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, you guys.